It was an up-and-out-the-door kind of morning. Katie discovered that when you hurry to put your shorts on, one leg hole always seems to <laughs> run away from you. Orby learned that even though a bike helmet is big, it can be hard to find in the closet. Yeah. And they both found out that when the spring sunlight shines in the window, it heats up the room. It was a Saturday morning in early spring. <laughs> Although it looked like a beautiful spring day out, the air was still cold from winter. Katie and Orby were in a hurry to meet their friends at the park. After breakfast, Katie slipped her sandals and her sun top on. Orby washed his face and hands, and Katie did the same and brushed her teeth. Mom and Dad were reading the paper and doing crossword puzzles in the living room. Orby threw on his jacket, and Katie didn't. No one really noticed what Katie was wearing when she headed out the door. She called her mom that they were going to meet Yi Ping and her mom at the park now. Mom called back. Have fun. Katie did notice it was a little cool out. When they were out on the breeze, she did feel a chill wash over her. But I have to say that the excitement of meeting up with her friends was so strong that she hardly paid any attention to it. At the park, Yi Ping and Arthur were swinging on the monkey bars. Yi Ping's mom was watching them from a park bench. She did ask Katie if she was warm enough, and Katie said yes as she shot down the cold slide. After that, she and Yi Ping played on the roundabout. When Katie was on the floor for her spin, the metal floor made Katie feel even colder. Yi Ping's mom asked Katie again if she was sure that she was warm enough. <laughs> Katie was so wrapped up in playing, she told Yi Ping's mom that she was fine. <laughs> when Orby called her to meet him halfway on the monkey bars, Katie climbed with speed to get there fast. And she did notice that her hands were turning a bit purple and feeling awfully cold. Katie swung across the monkey bars, and Orby made a ta-da kind of noise to tell her that they made it to the middle. <laughs> Arthur laughed, and so did Yi Ping. But Katie, all of a sudden, had to let go. She dropped to the ground and felt so cold she could barely stand it. As Yi Ping's mom raced over to see what was wrong, Mom was running up the path waving Katie's jacket and calling that she'd forgotten it. Mom was shocked to see what Katie was wearing. She threw the jacket over Katie's shoulder and picked her up. She was surprised to see Katie wearing shorts and sandals. She told Yi Ping's mom that she would be right back, but first she needed to get Katie warmed up and into the right kind of clothes for early spring. Yi Ping's mom was glad to hear it because even though Katie said she wasn't cold, she felt for sure she was. Now, when they got home, mom put Katie right into a bubble bath of warm water. Slowly, Katie began to feel better. And so did mom. Mom asked Katie why on earth she went out in summer clothes when spring was just starting. Katie explained that the sun streaming in the window had made her think it was summer already, and she didn't want to be too hot. When she noticed it was a bit cold out, she remembered that some summer days warm up, and so she waited for it to do that. And sadly, before it got any warmer, Katie got really, really cold. Katie looked at Mum as Mum rubbed her down with a towel. She told her that she didn't know cold could hurt so much. Mom looked right into Katie's eyes. She told Katie that was because staying warm was very important for everybody. We don't have any fur like animals do, she explained. So clothing protects us from the weather. We wear snowsuits in winter to keep us safe from the cold. If we went out in shorts and sandals in the winter, 
we would become very sick. We need to dress properly for each season. <laughs> this time when Katie dressed, Mom helped her find good spring clothes that would keep her nice and warm. Downstairs, she zipped up Katie's jacket. And Katie felt bad that she had done really such a silly thing. But Mom gave her a kiss on the cheek. Growing up was full of things to learn, and how to dress properly was one of them. Mom told her to think about how many things she's already learned. Katie thought for a minute, and she smiled. She knew a lot of things. With that, Katie hurried down the sidewalk toward the park, and Mum followed behind her. At the park, Katie's friends were waiting for her. Everybody was glad she was back. Yi Ping's mom told Katie that what she was wearing looked much better, and Katie beamed at her that this was just the right thing to wear in early spring. When summer came, then she would wear her shorts. With that, she gave Yi Ping's mom a big smile for caring about her and raced off to join her friends. And when summer came, Katie asked mom if the day was right for shorts, and when mom said it was, Katie was delighted. <laughs> she knew all the right clothes to wear for each season. <laughs> and do you know that you need to wear all the right clothes too, just like Katie? They keep you warm and healthy, and keeping you warm and healthy is a very important thing because you are a very important person. Thank <laughs> you. 